Hello folks, welcome to LMDE6 Cinnamon. So today I'm going to talk about several applets that controls uh, brightness and gamma and color. Uh, we have some visually impaired folks out there that have asked a question a couple of times if there are some tools that you can install on Linux Mint uh, regarding that. And I have four applets to show you today. Uh, the first one that I have here looks like an eyeball with a line through it. That one there will visually pick up on the recording software. Uh, the other three do not. Um, so with the other three, I'll just um, basically tell you what I'm seeing on the screen, but the recording software overrides it. I've tried a different recording software and basically I cannot uh, follow this on the recording, but I can visually see it on my screen, if that makes sense to you. Okay, in either case, uh, this is not everybody's cup of tea. Filming in 1080, welcome. Subscription keys in the corner, 450 videos and growing. All right, my comments are turned off due to uh, some Google support issues, but you can find more details in my community tab if you're curious. So all of these are applets. Uh, the first applets that I'm about to show you, you can visually see on your screen. The other three, not so much, but I will tell you uh, what kind of changes it'll make verbally and you can test it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Now I picked this wallpaper for a reason. It has a well it looks like rain clouds and then the middle of the road you have trees with a little bit of uh, sunshine in there and then the grass is looks like it's in full sun and so is part of this uh, area in here and the calendar is um, obviously yellow and uh, more importantly, I'm going to use that for my guinea pig on some of these. So the first tool I have for you, and these are all applets, and I'll talk about them a little bit later, where we can go to uh, Cinnamon Spices and find out more details about these applets. So the first one is called Color Blind Filters. Now, some of the stuff that I'm about to do, I'm going to forewarn you, it will turn the um, monitor very bright depending on what tool I turn on. So there's lots of different tools in here, and I'm not gonna uh, simulate every single one of them, but I will turn on a couple of them. When I do the lightness conversion, I'm gonna warn you that the screen will go extremely bright. But I'm gonna start at the bottom with the channel mixer with uh, blue, green, red. I'm gonna turn that on. Now the eyeball is still off. Now I'm going to go to the bottom and activate the tool. You won't see any change until I start moving the slider. So and right now, this should be standard to you. As I move this forward, though, you'll start to see changes. You can take a peek at that icon. It is kind of lavender color, and the grass is changing. As I move that forward, it should be blue, and that is now purplish to me. You can see the Linux Mint icon also changed. Okay, turning that back to zero. Let me go with the green, blue, red mixer and turn the slider on. Bright green. Now that's kind of bluish and you can see with the color of the grass. I'll slide this back and forth to give you that perspective. All right, now I'm going to go with inversions and I'm gonna go with lightness. I'm gonna turn this off first and warn you, this will be extremely bright. Okay, I'm gonna activate the tool and then turn it off. And then I will turn this inversions to color inversion. This will still be bright when I activate this. Okay, you get the idea now. So there are several tools in here for this. Okay. And um, this one was called color blind filters. So the next tool I'm going to turn on is called Brightness and Gamma Applet. And basically you're not going to see anything on the recording software. And I did try several different recording software, but none of them uh, actually um, gave me the um, correct recording for what I'm about to do. But I can tell you that it's going to be making changes on my end. So again, I'm using an LG monitor, just to forewarn you. I'm going to be turning off the brightness and you're not going to see a thing. As I just did this to 30%, which is a setting that you can configure, my mouse cursor is actually dark 
gray. I can barely see it. And everything is very dark. On the, re on the recording video though, what simple screen is picking up, you're not going to see a thing. You're going to have to take my word for it and test this yourself. Now I'm going to turn off the red or go down to 30%. This is now almost greenish. The sky is kind of bluish looking. Okay, the mouse cursor is still pure white. As I turn off the green or go to 30%, this is now the LMDE6 is purple and the, this is kind of a reddish color and this is lavender up there. This is still yellow. So I'm going to turn off the blue or go to 30%. This is still yellow. This is uh, kind of a washed yellow. This is yellow green and so forth and so on. Okay, right click configure. That's where the 30% comes from. So these are highly configurable. So this is brightness and gamma applet. The next one in line is called red Q shift. And normally um, the, I'm going to basically um, first let you see the configuration box. There's some more items down here. There's a scroll bar and three different tabs. And I'm going to click that one. And it's got a warning over here. We can also, I'm going to turn on the label for a second. It takes up a lot of real estate on your panel. Okay. We also have a gearbox. The same thing is just right clicking configuration. And you're not going to see a thing when I put it enabled on, but I will tell you what I'm seeing. So when I did that, everything is washed out. As I turn the temperature down, this kind of goes to a subdued, um, I guess it would be a yellow red and the opposite is now bright but washed out blue and somewhere in between and then I can turn the brightness to 100% and back to here this is still kind of washed out in my book and I'll turn it off the night mode um, really not going to demo because it's it's not activated because of the time frame but uh, you have the label and configuration so this again is Q redshift it does come with warnings on these applets, and I'll discuss that a little bit later. This one here is called Redshift. So that was Q Redshift on the other one. This one is called Redshift. And here's the configuration box for that one. All right, so I'm going to activate that. And uh, basically, you're not going to see anything, and neither am I on my screen. I tried this on myself. It doesn't make any changes. Okay. Maybe it's designed for day and night color. All right. I don't know enough about this applet, but I could go to Linux Mint Spices and read more about it. So there are four of these, and you can get them from where? Applets. If you don't want to go that route, by right-clicking on your panel, we can go this route, System Settings and Applets. All right. So I'm going to first let you see that um, some of these have little triangles there and they could potentially cause your cinnamon to crash. That doesn't mean it's gonna kill your computer. It just means it could crash your cinnamon. Do you know how to reset cinnamon? If not, I will rehash that. If your panel is still visible, in other words, it's not black or blank, you can right click, troubleshoot, and restart cinnamon. When you do that, you'll see the words restarting cinnamon in the center. I'm gonna also show you another command in case that bar is black. Alt and F2, providing your F2 is not being assigned. If you are using a laptop, then maybe it's function Alt and F2. But if you put in a small R, not a big R, and hit Enter, it'll restart your cinema. And the last one is Control, hold it down, Alt, hold it down, and Escape. That flashes the screen. I just restarted cinema three times, and I'm not going to edit this video. So let's go back on topic. Brightness and Gamma Applet, who is the developer, Card Surf. You can get all of these from download. All right, so I'll click that one. That's this guy here. Color Blind Filter by R-C-A-L-I-X-T-E. That's this one. It looks like the eyeball with the slash through it. Q Redshift by Raphael uh, 
Quintato. Anyways, hopefully you can see this filming in 1080. That's this one. And the default again is a big label on here and you can turn that off. Okay, that's done under configuration. Oh, well, sorry, actually it's clicking. Show label, this is what I meant by that. It's a big label, unless you want to turn it off. All right, so that was by Raphael uh, Quintal. And the last one is uh, Redshift by Marvel for you. And all of these three contain that triangle, potential cinnamon crashes, although I haven't seen it. But again, just, and they all have their own gearboxes, configurations. That one has three tabs. And this one, oh, just a single. So let me just go to the first one and you can do the same with all of these as long as you, you can do screenshots, you can subscribe, whatever, if you're wanting to try these out. So let me um, just show you one way to read more about them. Uh, you just go to downloads and I'm gonna do the first one only. I'm just gonna type in bright and here's brightness and gamma. So if I were to install it, you look for an arrow, click, turns that this way you go to manage, you click, and you hit the plus, and it puts it down on your panel, so you can run it. So if we were to find out more details about the applet itself, you hit the light bulb here. As long as you're online, it should connect to cinnamon-spices at linuxmint.com. And that way you can read more about the uh, applet itself, and here's the developer right there. So you can get more details on these kind of applets and maybe some comments if you're looking for those. All right, so as I pointed out in this video, unfortunately the recording software does not capture most of the stuff that I'm seeing on my screen with the exception of that one. But uh, in either case, if you are visually impaired and you need that, uh, well, brightness and color kind of changes on your monitor, um, my monitor is LG. Uh, again, maybe you have uh, some settings on your particular monitor that you can do manually, but some of these applets may help you out. So again, this one is called Colorblind Filters. This one is called Brightness and Gamma. This one is called Q Redshift. And this one is called Redshift. Thank you for watching.